Um, I, I was just having a, a look at the rules that Ofcom has uh, over how and why and when politicians um, can uh, work as interviewers. Earlier on today, I was very fortunate to be joined by Immigration Minister, Mr Robert Jenrick. Here's our conversation. Robert, thank you so much for coming in to speak to me um, about the small boats issue. No politician may be used as an interviewer or a reporter in any news programmes unless exceptionally or editorial, editorially justified. And then I look at a, a tweet from HM Treasury. Tomorrow, Chancellor Jeremy Hunt will appear on Saturday morning with Esther and Phil. Um, Esther McVeigh and Philip Davies. They're both Tory MPs. Why are Tory MPs interviewing the Tory Chancellor on a UK channel? So you're quite right to say that there are strict rules about serving politicians not being able to present news programmes. But aside from that, um, they are able to present shows and to invite on whoever they like. But of course, due impartiality is going to be needed. And that's well, hold on a second. Aired. No politician may be used as an interviewer, that's very clear. Fast forward to the next screen. I believe that's on a news programme. Well, I, I take your point, GB News, you know, is, is hardly a, a news channel by any normal standards, but I think they would see themselves as a news channel. Uh, your rules say you cannot be an MP and be an interviewer. Uh, GB News regards itself as a news channel and two MPs here are interviewing the Chancellor with HM Treasury tweeting out. How is it possible that they're not breaking the rules? Well, I, I take your point, GB News, you know, is, is hardly a, a news channel by any normal standards. At the next election, we haven't got those three things, so we're going to have to yeah. think of something else. It'll probably be a, cult, a mixture of culture wars and trans debate.